So I'm ready to trim the bowl that I made uh, yesterday with the sodium silicate texture. Uh, before I start to trim, I like to know exactly how thick the bottom is before I trim. So uh, again, uh, I'm using my uh, measuring tool to uh, check the thickness. So check the inside. It's 95. And then I pull out. It's 108. 108, 95. It's about 13. Okay, 13 is about half of an inch. Half of an inch. Okay. So that's the uh, the ruler that is very uh, useful before you start it, and you know exactly how big the bottom is before you uh, start to trim. Center, that center. Use the uh, clay to clay coil to hold it. So you can see that uh, before I uh, pu push my clay to hold it, I am holding down my part because you don't want to push your part away. Make sure that you hold it down so uh, that the center you find it stays. Okay, basically I uh, just trim a little bit on the foot because I want to still want to leave the uh, texture. And this is my number two for regular trimming the foot. I use a lot of uh, my number two. It's a very basic tool to get the foot. Looks nice. And you see that when I'm trimming, I try to stabilize my tool so I, I hold it very closer to the corner. If you hold it long, that your tool might be easy to get vibrate, and you might want have some unwanted chatter mark. So uh, get it closer, and uh, put my hand there, extend my thumb, so the uh, the whole structure is very stable. So for trimming here, um, I usually hold my tool using the corner, the, the corner, start with the corner, and then uh, after I move out, I kind of a level. I start with like corner like this, and then once I move to the side, I kind of a drag. I'm, put my uh, knife to, to level so I will cut the bottom level. So I like to trim this part, uh, this part within three millimeters. It means that I could go down 10 minutes, meters deep. Um, I could uh, check it again, see if I reach that. So now it is about seven, so I know I have three more to go.
check it again. So now it's about 10, so I will stop right here. And just clean, clean up. And clean up the corner. So now, since this part, the inside part, is nice uh, within 30 millimeters, so I will compare the uh, outside, 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 and the inside. So it should be uh, the same level at least, or maybe even lower, since my inside has a curve. So uh, the outer part could be a little bit lower than the uh, inside part. I'm cutting it down. Okay, uh since I have a vertical line, so I I like to put some uh, vertical chattering mark using my number uh, number one trimming tool. You can see the difference, the number one and number two. Uh, number one is, uh, this part is longer, so it helps the uh, clay to vibrate. So I'm holding this way, so the, cut, the, the chatter mark will be uh, like uh, straight lines. So you see the the way that I'm holding is this way. So the tool is vibrating this way. So you see that chattering line is kind of like uh, fluting, like fluting. So this is a line is fluting. So it's matching the vertical line here. Okay, and we will do the very final cutting. And, uh, and try to level, okay, you see the foot, it's not a, a quite level, so by the very final stage, I usually spin the wheel really fast, and then I hold my tool from the side and then cut it through, and you see that I'm trying to stable, stabilize my tool. And cut it from outside. So now that the foot is very level now. Cut a little angle there. Okay. So uh, if I want to make a flower pot, now uh, I could do um, cut a hole here in the center. You're just using a sharp knife. So that's the clay after the uh, measurement. I told you that I want to leave this part about three millimeters. Let me cut it in, in the middle so you will see. So this is about three millimeters thick, exactly that according to the measurement. Right. So I cut a hole in the middle, so this is the flower part. And then um, this 
it's actually combined with this but now well, I don't need to use that uh, unless I want to trim the bottom but maybe I will use it later on but now uh, I want to cut a three equal part for the, the water drainage so I put this on find my center okay so find my center and then uh, there are three equal parts okay one two three so I'm making a mark here so one equal part here two and three okay so I find my equal part three parts So it's easy to find three equal parts and cut it. And then um, I will put that back, find my center. And I'm going to remove the clay coil that I and put this back on. Okay, so it's sitting right there. Hold it down and then remove my clay coil. Put a stem on the foot. So that's the uh, flower part, not flower part, plant part. Okay, it's a part for plant. You can grow your plant right here with the uh, three equal parts. Uh, so to help the water to drain out. Okay, thanks for watching.